Hi people, it's Sarkovist here, and today I have for you Assassin's Creed Unity for the PC. Which may seem a little odd, because in my last video I really blasted Assassin's Creed Unity. Um, but after finishing Assassin's Creed Rogue, which is an exceptional game, really fun, great story, great graphics, great gameplay, just a great game overall, uh, I just reminded myself how much I love Assassin's Creed games. It really is one of my favourite series, and to be honest, I think one of the reasons I disliked Unity at the time so much was because it seems, seems a bit over dramatic, but it kind of broke my heart with the series. Even Revelations, which was my least favourite before it, was still a really good game. I mean, they, they are. I mean, they're huge open worlds. They're really well voice acted. Uh, they have compelling characters. Uh, they're sort of historically accurate. Of course, there are a few things thrown in for flavour. Um, and they usually have very good graphics. And so the fact that Assassin's Creed Unity came out and it was just not performing very well, uh, I mean, abysmal, I think is better the word, uh, really made me very upset uh, to be fair because I, I just couldn't enjoy I tried to play it but it was getting on my nerves too much and I made a video the very first day I got it saying that this is a major issue with the game and uh, to warn people off it because it was it was that bad it was a very serious issue uh, and I'm here to tell you now that uh, Assassin's Creed Unity seems to have been in many ways fixed it, the stuttering issue that really annoyed me the first time is gone now the game is still very demanding, but I mean, look at it, it, there are certain games that deserve to be demanding, but at the same point, there are a few graphical glitches, a few blemishes, for example, in the not too distant uh, horizon you can see some of the blurred textures, uh, and that is an issue. Also, I wouldn't say that Arno is particularly well detailed either, I don't think he's actually as well detailed as Shay, if you ask me. But uh, apart from telling you guys that this is probably the best time in a long time to buy Assassin's Creed Unity. I mean, look at that. That's a very nice effect there, the way the sun shafts are so subtle. Uh, apart from telling you that, I also want to compare it to Rogue in the main uh, ways. I can't compare its story, however, as I still haven't finished uh, Unity's story. I finished Rogue's, and Rogue's is such a great story, and I, I think any Assassin's Creed fan will agree with me there. It's a really good story. In fact, even some of the modern day bits are pretty cool. That's how good it is. Uh, but I'll compare other things. Let's start with the free running, which I'm doing right now. And that is something that Unity does do very well. It's it's a lot more organic. It feels a lot more natural. You don't feel as clunky because Arno isn't wearing as much. I'd say that this is the biggest jump that the free running may, has made in the entire franchise. And it doesn't add something stupid like that damn hook blade, which I really didn't like. Uh, it, it just feels more natural, more organic, and the way you can move up and down by holding either A or B, or I'm not sure what the keyboard thing is, I don't use the keyboard, I use the controller, uh, whatever that is, uh, it makes it a lot easier to move around the environment, and he's just more natural. Although I would say sometimes some of his jumps look like he's going a bit too far, I wonder if you know human could do that, uh, but most of the time it seems pretty normal. And that is one area that Unity has made a good step forward. It's changed a lot of things, and that is uh, for the better. Uh, okay, now let's move on to combat. In order to do that, I'm going to have to find a combat situation, of course. So let me just look around. Okay, here, there's a bit where the frame rate trips, uh, drops a little bit. But uh, bear in mind, I actually probably wouldn't normally play at these settings. I'm just doing it for the purposes of the video. I'd probably play a bit lower. Probably uh, reduce the anti aliasing because I'm using TXAA, which, although really effective, is pretty demanding. Anyway, God, TXAA is like my is my thing now. So I, I love it on as every game. I think it's even coming to Grand Theft Auto. Okay, so here we go. Here's some guys will assassinate him, and that's a really cool way of doing that assassination. Now, the thing about the combat is it's a lot more difficult than it is in Rogue or the old Assassin's Creed games. It it's it's far less forgiving. In fact, I've got to heal myself now. It's actually this one guy is giving me quite a hard time, and it's not just a case of counter and one shot or uh, counter uh, disarm and then attack. You really have to beat them down. Very similar in a way to Assassin's Creed 2, but I'd say this is the most difficult the combat has been in the entire series. God, this guy is really kicking my ass. <laughs> he is he is a higher difficulty than I should be attempting. To be fair. But, you know, it's not 
they, they strike fairly quickly. It's not like an instant parry. I have to keep doing it. And this has the advantage of being a more rewarding system because, I mean, to kill him, it took a lot more effort than it would do in uh, Rogue, where I instantly can basically kill someone, you know, parry, then press X and kill them. Um, but at the same time, it makes combat less engaging. No, not less engaging. You're, you're less likely to want to go into combat because it's not quite as fun. But that in itself is in some way an advantage because you're an assassin, not a swordsman. Well, you are a swordsman, but that's not your forte. You're not a knight, I think it's better to say. You're meant to be sneaking around in the shadows, being careful and taking people out from a distance. Uh, and that does kind of encourage you. But uh, as I said, I'm, I'm not a massive fan of the combat, but there are ways of looking at it to justify it. Uh, and, and those are the main things. Uh, graphically, graphically, I think... It's a bit of a mixed bag because certain effects like that, like you can see that the light shafts, that's in, that's just incredible. That's a really cool effect, and I want to see it in more games. But at the same time, uh, certain textures like those seen on the NPCs or even Arno, to be honest, are not as impressive as they are in Assassin's Creed Rogue, which really is surprising. And I can only put that down to the number of NPCs on screen. Also, as we can show you here, it's quite cool that you can actually go into buildings and it's not just a case of doing that quick run through. These are fully detailed locations, people talking, sitting around. Uh, and, you know, there's good detail. There's textures good here on the wooden floor. Uh, but I just think the textures on the clothing, uh, I mean, they used to be really good in Assassin's Creed games here. It's just it's not quite there. Okay, but I've, I mean, I've already analysed this game before. I have made a video talking about it. Um, and the main point of this video was to, to let people know that the game is in a better state. Not a perfect state, but a better state than it was back uh, last November. Uh, so I think there was something else I wanted to say. Was it about Rogue? I mean, I've said that, yeah, Rogue's a great game. Uh, I, I'd say, though, if you haven't got a Rogue or Unity, I'd probably recommend Rogue over Unity, though. Uh, I think it's a better game, but perhaps I have been a little too harsh on Unity. I let the stuttering, because I really couldn't look past the stuttering. It got so annoying. I mean, uh, as I say, it's still a, a demanding game, and if you're thinking of getting it now that I'm saying this, uh, don't think, oh, I can get it and play it and it'll be fine, because... The, the uh, system requirements are hefty. It recommends you have uh, three gigabytes of VRAM, uh, which is obviously quite a lot, uh, and a demanding processor. It's just a very demanding game, really. Uh, so it's still going to have fairly low frame rates, and that's not something that's going to be patched out, to be honest, because it's, it's just some games are just demanding. That's just how it is. So things like stuttering are usually a problem with the game's engine, and they seem to have resolved that. I mean, I actually, while I've been recording, I haven't seen anything. Uh, I should point out, if you're seeing stuttering, uh, that isn't the game because I've noticed that you do, uh, the, the way I record things uh, can occasionally lead to stuttering, which is annoying because I have no way of affecting that. But uh, I can tell you for a fact, I don't think I've seen a single stutter, by which I mean, you know, that micro pause where the game seizes up for a micro moment. Uh, I haven't seen any of that. Uh, while I've been doing this recording, or uh, you know, much at all. I mean, I've seen, I, I recognise the frame rate isn't that high, but at the same time, when I look at effects like this, you kind of understand why. But as I also take a look at these characters, I, I do wonder if the textures could have been done better. And I also say, the thing about the combat is, I don't, I either want them to go back to the old version of combat or do some large refinements to the way it's working now. Uh, because it doesn't feel particularly fluid at the moment. It feels almost too challenging. I mean, it's maybe a bit mean, but that, that's how I feel about it. So, uh, to conclude this video, to sum up what I'm saying, Assassin's Creed Unity in a much better state than it was when it came out. That does not mean we should forgive Ubisoft, because you should make it work when it comes out. This is what it should have been like when it came out, but... If you were thinking about getting this game and you were really put off because of, you know, lots of the things, uh, lots of the stuttering uh, reports early, uh, then I would say if you have a beefy PC or, you know, a decent PC, uh, give it a go. You might enjoy it. It's not a bad game by any means. It's just a, it's just not a great Assassin's Creed game. And I really do mean great. I, I'd even, I think I'd call it a good Assassin's Creed game. I, I think I can actually, now the stuttering is gone, I'd probably put it above Revelations, if I'm honest. So it's not the worst of the series. Uh, and that's just my opinion. As I say, though, Rogue, I do believe to be the superior game. I really enjoyed Rogue, really thought it was very good. But 
yeah, I think I, I think I made my point here. So, uh, thank you for watching this slightly lazily made video, if I'm honest. Uh, as always, people, thanks uh, very much for watching, and see you next time.